All right, everybody, in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to adjust your hydraulic roller lifters. This process is the same for any brand, uh, classic, classic V8s, even new stuff, LS and new Mopar. As long as it's got a hydraulic lifter in it, you'll be good. There's really no need to overcomplicate it. Uh, it's a super easy process, and once you've done it a couple times, it's a pretty fast job. Right off the bat, if you don't know if you have hydraulic or solid lifters, uh, if it's a stock cam, you can Google it. Otherwise, pull off the valve cover. And if your lifters are bled down, you should be able to take your rocker arm and push it like that. With zero lash right here, lifting up on the backside by the valve spring, you should have a little bit of plunge in the lifter down there. Which, there's a spring in there that uh, ends up pumping up when it gets oil pressure in it. So, if you're not sure, that is uh, one way to check. You can do that obviously with the intake on or off, it don't matter. You don't need to see in there. As long as this will plunge, you got a hydraulic setup. All right, so next, make sure all your push rods are in place. This might be obvious, but uh, it can be overlooked if you're a little worried about doing the job. If you have the intake on, it's a different story. You can shine a flashlight down the uh, hole here if you're really worried, but as long as you're in the uh, cup of the lifter and the uh, motor spins over without binding you should be good next up though once you got all these at zero lash just hand tight with the poly lock all the way backed out that allen key in the middle backed it all the way out and then just hand tighten all of them to zero lash so i just grab the back of the lifter and i lift up till that play goes away and that'll be a, a good spot to get us started on so next up i take my breaker bar and put it on the crankshaft snout and I'm going to spin it over and you'll see the lifters start to go and that's when we start adjusting them. Before we start and you guys click off this video, you do not need the intake off to adjust it. This is a new motor build so my intake's just not on yet just for this process, but there's no need to look in here. All you can all you need is just to watch these valves appear and what they're doing. So, got my uh breaker bar on the crankshaft now. I'm going to spin the motor over to you can you can pick a starting point if you want to go to the firing order you can um, that's a good way to keep track mark the rockers as you go as you adjust them but your goal here is to adjust the intake rocker when the exhaust valve sorry my bad intake rocker right here on a big block you adjust the intake when the exhaust valve just starts to open so when I spin this motor over on cylinder one here and I just see this rocker start to compress that valve spring, I'm gonna adjust cylinder number one's intake. That's the same with all of them. So if cylinder two, you're gonna watch cylinder two exhaust and then just the intake when it just starts to open. So usually what I go ahead and do is go through and adjust all the intakes and then go ahead and come back and do all the exhaust and then spin the motor over a couple times and check all your lash in a few different spots to make sure uh, your adjustment went right. And then if you're in a position to start it, it's either gonna start or it's not. You'd really have to mess this process up pretty bad to hang a valve open and, and have a piston hit it. So just follow these steps. There's even a little write up on Comp Cams' website about this. Super easy stuff, but I'll, I'll show you real quick how I'm, uh, how I'm doing this. All right, here's our exhaust valve for cylinder number one here. I'm gonna slowly crank the engine over and try to show you guys best I can this rocker just starting to go down you see that there just that little movement so now that the exhaust just started to head down on its stroke we now know that our intake rocker and lifter really it's the lifter wheel but it translate up here we know that it is on the base circle of the cam so we can adjust this now so to do this our poly lock is all the way ran out. That's that Allen key there in the middle. Take this nut out, get us a little bit of lash, and then slowly tighten it in. I'm just very lightly grabbing the back and lifting it up. You'll feel that play in there. You want to get just a zero lash, a little bit at a time, which is right there. There's no up and down play in the rocker anymore. There's a whole method on twisting the push rod and a little bit of play in the push rod to me that's kind of a bad way because there's no way to gauge the the drag on the push rod besides experience this way it's foolproof zero play and then for these hydraulic lifters 
and about any other hydraulic lifter, a half turn on this rocker nut is plenty to set lifter preload. Now that I got cylinder one's intake rocker right here on, at zero lash, slip your wrench on it, put it at around 12 o'clock, and then put one half turn on it. And then while you're still holding it, come grab your Allen key and tighten the poly. I'm gonna have to put the camera in my mouth to film this. That's all it needs to be. It does need to be very tight since it's under spring pressure here. As far as the exhaust goes now, same process except to adjust the exhaust valve, you have to watch the intake valve of that cylinder go all the way down and then halfway back up at stroke. Same process, lift up the back, tighten it to zero lash, and then one half turn more, tighten, tighten your poly lock in the middle and you're done. This process is pretty simple. Intake as soon as the exhaust opens and then exhaust as soon as the intake is halfway up at stroke. So if you guys got any questions you can leave them in the comments but good luck. This process can seem uh, intimidating at first but it's it's a pretty easy pretty easy process just takes a little bit of time. So here is a factory set of big block Chevy rockers. Your rocker is just like that with that little bearing down there in the bottom these nuts obviously no poly lock just tighten this uh, till zero lash with your socket and when you're using a socket on these pull the socket off when you're testing when you're pinching it like this and checking for zero lash up and down pull the socket wrench off because the weight of that will kind of give you a false reading and and make you think you're at zero lash when you still got a little bit left to go so make your adjustments, pull the wrench off, and then check for lash. And then a half turn pass, and obviously there's no uh, Allen key in the middle to tighten it since these are not poly locks. But 